I'm no Razor Ramon, but you can call me Harry. <laughs> and I'm Richard. I wasn't prepared for the witty intro. Fucking <laughs> snuck that one in on me. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Oh, uh, oh. Hey, what do we do? Oh, yes. Uh huh. Uh, hold on, hold on. What, what's We're that dead decks. Oh, yeah, dead decks, yeah. yeah. Dead decks. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Now you can do that. I was ready to start talking. Well, you got your glass, so I'll show that we have a, another here. Uh, this is for the subject of our video today. Our symbolic third drink for uh, Rand's Althor, also known as CCG History. Rand's Althor. I like it. <clears throat> yeah. Hopefully he likes it. Too bad, buddy. <laughs> if you don't get the Wheel of Time reference, um, I don't know if we can be friends. I, if he doesn't know the, this Wheel of Time reference, then... Uh, He's the biggest faker that's ever <laughs> been because his knowledge base on everything else is yeah so out of our league. Yeah, yeah, I think he's I think he's likely he's going to get that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, we are talking about CCG history today because not as though we have any kind of freaking clout or can really. We do have a dog up. going crazy upstairs though. Yeah, we have a moronic dog that doesn't help us any. No. Um, but uh, but we we really dig his stuff. Like the videos a lot. There's a lot of crossover between his and what we do. Yep. Uh, so we figured we'd mention him. Yeah, he's uh, he's much more in depth than we are. Obviously, uh, he, he goes more of the podcast route, long form interviews, and uh, talking about uh, well, what these people have done in the CCG world, and mainly specific games. He doesn't do a whole lot of generalization. From what I've seen. Now I gotta say up front, I haven't seen a whole lot of his channel yet. Um, but what I have seen is great. He's an excellent interviewer. One of the best I've seen. So, yeah. Um, I mean, and this, the two episodes, I've only seen two, but the two I've seen, his knowledge base is superb. I mean, he knows more about the stuff than the people he's talking to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He regularly corrects people. Yeah. He pointed out that he's, that he's interviewing. Yeah. Uh, and he's right. Or fills in gaps where they, you know, they don't remember or whatever the case might be. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we are. If you're watching, we're a big fan. Yeah. And for anybody else, uh, we're a big fan of his. So, uh, yeah, he uh, uh, he picks people a lot of designers, which uh, which I really like. Uh, I'm more intrigued by the designers of the games, and mm -hmm. I think there's only a couple of videos at this point I haven't actually listened to. Uh, and yeah, they're they're all pretty great. Almost everybody has something interesting to say. And I'm about to take you on a road trip with me. I'm getting ready to go out of town here in a couple of weeks, and or for a couple of weeks. And I'm going to download all all your uh, your podcasts and take them with me and listen to them on the road. So, time I get back, I'll be well versed, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, I don't, uh, by a while, oh, he's been doing this for about a year. If we didn't say that, the the uh, booster pack episodes looks like they started about a year ago, mm -hmm. which is that's the long form stuff. Uh, he has various slots. He calls them that are. Kind of more relaxed and laid back, and yeah, um, kind of in between episodes, I think. Yeah, normal videos between an hour and two, so it's mm -hmm. something you run. We we're doing something else, let it run. That's what I do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a few I would mention that I particularly like and remember something that stood out, but the, kind of skim them. I'm not going to go through his whole catalog because you can go look it for yourself. Because yeah, you waste time listening to me talk about a shit. You could just <laughs> listen to a shit. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Jason Robinette, pretty sure is how it's pronounced. Uh, he's one of the earlier ones, I believe, close to a year ago, maybe 11 months at this point. Uh, he did a Fidian, uh, which is, uh, I really like to hear him talk about that because that's one I like. And Missing Legends and involved in quite a few other ones. Playtester for other games and yeah, Long History. And that was a, that's a good one. Uh, Brian Winter is a guy who was involved in The Crow and Doom Trooper and he's been in some great games too. He struck me as a very humble, interesting guy. That was a good one. Uh, one of the ones you listened to was the lady with Scry, whose name we were too lazy to look back up. But how we uh, roll? Yeah, you gotta know Scry if you're watching us. Yeah, and she's talking about how the history. And basically, they came and asked her that, uh, mm -hmm. like, hey, we really need somebody to do a price guide on this stuff. Uh, so yeah, that was a really good one. Yep. And they gave us eventually the Scry Bible that we reference frequently. Mm -hmm. Talked about it in many, many, many videos. And Richard, we'll show you a copy of. Yeah, I think she mentions that her husband was integral in uh, getting this off the ground. Uh, yeah, and it's an awesome book for what we do. Mm -hmm. A lot like these videos, it has shit in it you can't find on the internet. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, there's a few other ones. I'm not going to hit a whole lot in detail. One of them is just purely entertaining. Sean Carnes, he was an early magic guy. 
I don't know that he had as many anecdotes I found interesting, but he cussed a lot, <laughs> which is always extra points from us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and if, he was, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> yeah. He was very high, strong, and entertaining, and uh, yeah, I liked him. Um, oh, his most recent one, we'll hit, I'll hit that, and then I'll shut up about his specific videos. Brian Woodward, the uh, guy that was involved in Scooby-Doo and X-Files, and I won't uh, spoil some of the interesting shit he said, but it's worth listening to. Yeah. But in general, uh, he is great. CCG history is great about letting them talk enough trying to structure it but if they have if they're all going off on a tangent and there's interesting things they're saying related to these games he lets them go and that's where the best shit is so he always brings it back around and gets whatever he needs to pull out of them he always uh from what i've seen after that he just politely we were talking about this can you can you finish that out you know yeah yeah, it's something you and I would probably not be capable no, of. No, I don't know that we would make great interviewers. <laughs> Fuck, no, I do know we wouldn't. Uh, I would not remember 15 minutes after a tirade what we were talking about. Yeah, I don't know if we'd make great interviewees. We'd be, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, we have a pulse uh, beyond that. <laughs> someday, someday. So, so. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think we pretty much summed up. He's, uh, he's obviously knowledgeable, you can tell. There was... There is uh, apparently unscripted things that people will say to him. Mentioned some obscure ass thing. The one that comes to mind is somebody referenced the dozens uh, by calling it a rap game, uh, which is not at all. But he knew immediately what the hell they were talking about. <laughs> You're talking about that Wayans game. That doesn't. Uh, he he knows this shit well. Yeah. So. And we're learning. We're getting closer to that. But yeah, we're getting there. I mean, we've been doing this. You know, Rich's been doing it a little longer than me as far as in depth knowledge, but. We're, we're, we're pushing a year, getting close. We're, I think, about a year now since we started talking about doing the YouTube thing. So our knowledge base is growing, and we, we've, we've acquired... Fuck, we've acquired a lot of stuff in that year. <laughs> is the... Yeah, the new thing ain't in shot, is no, it? No, we can probably... We can probably tilt it over. Catch it. Uh, oh, we're going for a ride. We had to expand our storage, because... Yeah, shit was sitting in the floor. Oh, and I'm sinking down as I do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your hydraulics went out. I'm disappearing. <laughs> oh, no. Now you done fucked me up. You oh. got the damn shot crooked, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, hold on. Hold on, hold on. There we go. We're back. All right. Now I gotta come back up. We're still on the floor. Yeah, come get the elevator going. Oh, there we go. My hydraulics ah. uh, Damn, that's a lot of work. <laughs> so, uh... Take a nap. Yeah, we fanboyed a little, but... You know, I probably, uh, you don't get much out of us mentioning you because we're pretty small fries. Yeah, but, I mean. Uh, we're going to, we are principal men, damn it. We're going to mention who we like. Yep. Yeah, we uh, yeah, we, <clears throat> we are definitely principal guys. We're, we we try to stick to what we say and what we're going to do and all that good stuff and blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about uh, size or influence or anything else. But nope. people that are good, this is good shit. Yep. If you like this stuff, you'll like this. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, especially if you got a long commute somewhere, or you uh, you're doing work and you, you want something good in the background, because it's all on form. You know, um, it's great for that kind of stuff. Uh, I take pictures and stuff for eBay, um, and when I'm doing that, I love long form stuff that I can listen to while I'm doing something mindless. Love that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, and I've heard stuff on there. People talk about. It. Uh, legal disputes and why companies failed and other people that were involved in eccentric characters and it's just lots of really cool shit. I would love if there was a book about it, but yeah, nobody would probably ever write it for the same reason most people don't do these kind of channels. Because there's no money in it. Yeah, there's no uh, money in it. It's not going to ever be huge. And, no. Um, the people you can find on YouTube for the most part who with high volume that talk about dead games, they got their volume from something else. Yeah. Uh, and they just tickle the dead card game world yeah like rudy uh, yeah yeah he's uh he can talk about him and people will go oh that's interesting but that's not why they're there what's your seven diddly sins guy what's his name um he does the same thing uh kodok kodok yeah, yeah. he same thing bakugan and some other things got him big and then he can dabble and now people still watch yeah. it we're trying to get the <clears> absolute <throat> reverse of that we we, yeah. we live in the dead card game world we sleep with corpses <laughs> we, we try to fuck our ways out of the grave <laughs> Uh, the necro <laughs> necrophiliacs guy getting famous. Yeah. I'm not sure if we'll ever make it. Uh, but, hey, I got to play off one-on-one -on -one hockey jersey. That's I just mean, too fucking cool. How much more do you need to make I it? I don't... I mean, you're rocking yeah. that. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, I'm worried about how boring Gates thong, but I'm not going to show you. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Shit. Uh, I guess that's good enough. We yeah, probably already. On. We ought to shut this shit off. We ruined his fucking reputation just by mentioning him. So we can't ruin ours. We don't. There's no worry about that. <laughs> All right then. How the hell we do? Good enough. Yeah, buddy.